I did not leave my attic until I made $10,000 in a month. My name is Scott Gleason Camp. My businesses are doing over $50,000 a month at the age of 19. And let me tell you why I did this. I almost drove myself fucking nuts. It was a good thing though. There was like a scientist, I can't remember his name, but he would lock himself in a room until something creative or something innovative came to his mind. So he literally forced his brain to work because you probably don't want to be stuck in that room all the time. So I forced myself to be stuck in an attic. That's all I wanted. All I wanted was the money. All I needed was the money. Couldn't pay bills. I couldn't pay for fucking anything. All I did was sit on my computer all day, every day, and I would just grind and find a way to make a ton of money, and we finally did it. Now I do Amazon private label. I own my own brands on Amazon. I'll keep this quick, but I'll explain what it is. So all I do is find very, very good products that sell well on Amazon. I'm going to go find a manufacturer who already sells this. I'm going to order it, and I'm going to ship it directly to Amazon. Amazon picks, packs, ships, handles, returns everything for you without you having to do anything. And you are focused on just building more brands and launching more products because it's a numbers game. The more you launch, the more you're going to do well on and the more money you're going to make on a consistent basis. I was locked in my room and when I say my room, like I genuinely kind of lived in an attic for maybe like a year and a half. I didn't really get too serious about making money. Like I was always like kind of like a hustler, but I didn't get super serious about it until maybe a year and a half ago. My ex-girlfriend and I, five years and I break up. That obviously motivated me and I did something about about it. I could have been a bitch. I could have just sat in my sorrow. I could have just fucked off. But I luckily managed to channel that energy pretty efficiently. And I said, okay, I have no money. What do I need? I need money because I want a cool car. I want a cool penthouse. I want to be able to take care of the people I want in my life and be able to go do cool shit. But what does it require? It requires money, which I don't have. So I'm going to go find a way to make a ton of it. And it was just like this attitude of, I don't want to do anything. And I'm sure a lot of you relate to this. I don't want to do anything unless it's making me money. And that's partially a little unhealthy, but you have to do it in order to make a ton of money at the beginning, at least like, it, like if it wasn't making me money, if it wasn't teaching me anything, if it wasn't helping my life or having any return on investment in my life, I was not going to do it. Like I wasn't going to the parties. Like I wasn't just going for food with friends. I wasn't just hanging out and jerking off. I was literally only focused on work. Like, and if I wasn't at my desk for whatever reason, if I'm just downstairs or I'm, I'm just in my house or I'm driving somewhere, I'm doing something I have to do. I'm only thinking about money. I'm only thinking about how do I make more? How do I get better? How do I get smarter? What can I do? Like once you pick this life, guys, you never can go back. Yeah, it's easy to get comfortable if you're truly a hustler. Like, I, I don't want to sound like I'm a hustler, like, oh, hustle culture, grind mode. Or, like, no, but if you're truly, like, you you want it, you need it, you, you never will stop. Like, it will always be in you. I genuinely might have lost years of my life of the amount I was working. 14 to 15 hours a day just grinding on my computer, staring at that shit, no blue light glasses, just fucking my sleep cycles really, really badly, not eating all day. I genuinely did not have time to and I couldn't like I, I literally would not be hungry unless I made money that day Like it sounds so odd and weird, but like I I couldn't eat like I all I wanted is the money Like girls would text me. I leave them undelivered because I, I don't even know what to say Like I, I just want the money like I don't want to even think about answering your text like any friends or any girls Like I genuinely leave a lot of people undelivered still like like this was the thing I was talking about with one of my friends the other day. Like girls will text me or friends will text me and like I, I don't even want to respond. I can't respond because I'm so focused on what I'm doing right now. I'm so focused on making the money. And now it's not like survival mode. Like I, I don't need it to survive. Like I have plenty of money to survive on. But it's it's more of now like I need a fucking Lambo. <laughs> that type of thing. And I need a penthouse. Like, like that's the thing now. Once you get out of survival mode, great. You're, you're chilling, right? But then you're going to be like, oh, I want to car. I want to be able to go out to eat every single night at the nicest restaurants. I want to be able to fly wherever, however I want. I want to be able to go have a beautiful apartment or beautiful penthouse. Like I want to be able to have all these dope things without even worrying about it. So it goes from survival to materials. So that's at the point I'm at. I, I want all the materials. Obviously I, I have a little bit more time on my hands now. Like I'm not just like searching the web and, and grinding all day looking at my computer. Like I have time free now. Like I, I can just go on a drive whenever. I wake up pretty much whenever. I work as much as I need to to get things done, but now I have a big team around me. Yeah, I still work a ton. I'm still grinding. I'm still having very, very high output on a daily basis, but now a lot of it's allocated to my team. Genuinely, this, this was the best and worst thing that I ever did. So I think overall is very, very positive. Did it make me more money than I could have ever hoped for? Yes. Did it really progress my career? Absolutely. But I genuinely 
did sacrifice my health for a little bit for a lo- for a while. Like I, I didn't go to the gym as much. I think for a while, like a month, I didn't even go to the gym for some reason. Like it, it was just really fucked up. I couldn't even focus on anything but making money. Now I'm in the best shape of my life. And also like when you were literally only talking to people on Zoom or just doing things yourself or on the phone, like it, it genuinely will hurt your social skills. So still go outside and still talk to people because I didn't. Like I, I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm here to be very candid with you. That was my mistake. I I genuinely got a little like weird for a second just because I, I couldn't like fit in social situations because I was like always just thinking like I need to leave here and go fucking back to my desk. Like, isn't that weird? You know, it, it was really odd and I, I do kind of regret that, but I, I got past it. It all comes down to your priorities. What are your priorities? Like are your priorities partying and just having a good time today? Or are your priorities building for the future, making a ton of money, being able to provide for the people you love, doing super cool things, going to places you want whenever you want, working whenever or wherever you want. What are your priorities? Because if your priorities are the second one, you will make it happen. I'm almost a little jaded by it. You know, like I see people working normal jobs and I I can't imagine doing it. It it, it sounds bad and there's nothing against that, but I couldn't even imagine working a normal job nowadays. Like people go clock in for the amount of money they make and then you leave with only that amount of money. Like now I can do things that I'm skilled for and I have a mind and I have a very good team. Like we can take actions and we don't have a cap to how much money we can make. I always wanted to be limitless. I always want to be unlimited, right? There, there's a Russell Wilson meme, unlimited, Mr. Unlimited. I always wanted to be unlimited in all parts of my life. I didn't want to be limited on how much I can make. Right? I, I didn't want to be have to work X amount to make X amount. Like now I can wake up and genuinely, and I say this, besides meeting with my students, I can make the same amount of money every single day for a very long time, literally doing nothing. And that's mostly because of the business model I picked. If I could go back, working hard is not always the best option. It's working combined. You have to combine these two. You have to work very hard at the right things with leverage. Okay. So like if you're just working hard, let's, let's think about this. Let's analyze. If you're just working hard, you probably just work hard now. Like you maybe work at McDonald's or maybe you work at a car wash or maybe you have a nine to five or you work construction, like whatever it is, you probably work hard at it, but are you rewarded very, very well? No. And it goes against what everyone's ever said. Like you're going to be successful if you work hard. No, I'm sorry, but you will be successful if you work hard at the right thing. So if you're in the right boat and you pick the right path to take, so like my path, Amazon private label, I lay it out for you. First link down below. If you want the free course, 10 plus hours, of course, two community calls a week, you want that path. Like it's, it's going to work out a lot better because yeah, you can work very, very hard just like I did. And just like you do currently at the right things, you can work hard at studying the right system, how to pick the right product, how to make that product sell, how to build a great brand. You can do that and work very hard, but have so much leverage on your side that once that works, is done, it will pay you for the rest of your life. That's the work I want. I don't want the work where I show up every day, do the same thing, and then I get paid X amount for that same work every single day and I have a cap. I don't want a cap. I want to be able to do things and I'm rewarded for the rest of my life for it. I believe that's what every man and woman should be entitled for the rest of their life. You do need to focus on the right things if you want to get to the right place. And if you do focus on the right things, you're going to be very, very successful at it. And just have focus. Just focus on the one thing. You know, if if you're focusing and you pick Amazon, just focus on Amazon only and focus on how to become very, very good at it. That's the best thing I did was just niche down and focus. Stop trying to run four or five different online businesses at once. Everything I do now is related to Amazon. And guess what? I've made more money than I ever had in my life and I don't have to work as much. If you truly and utterly need it, go do it. Stop fucking turning on these videos. No offense. I'm, I'm glad you stayed to the end and, and please do stay to the rest of the end because I'm going to give you something. But like, stop turning on these random videos. Go actually do things like there's no amount of motivation that will help you. You have to go do the right things every single day in order to see the results. Wish I could tell you, like, if you just watch this video, you're going to be successful. No, I I can't guarantee that because it's not true. 95% of the people who watch this video will never amount to anything. And that's the harsh truth. But if you want to be the 5% or 
toward the 1% who do and do great, huge things in life and build an empire and a great life for them and their families, then go do it. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you have to actually take actions every single day towards that goal to get it. It's not going to be done by watching these videos. It's not going to be done on your TikTok. It's not going to be done on your phone. It's not going to be done jerking off. It is going to be done in the actions you take every single day and how committed you are. Like I, I literally didn't have money. I, I had $30 in my bank account, $30. Try to go buy a pair of shoes with 30 bucks. Try to go buy food for two people with 30 bucks. You can't. There's nothing you can do with 30 bucks in the world that you wanted. I decided to man up and pick my poison. Am I going to have to go suffer a little bit more and work a little bit harder right now in order to have the rest of my life free and have it to be whatever I want? Where am I going to go fuck off right now so I can go work extremely hard and suffer the rest of my life? I'll pick the first one every fucking time. So genuinely, everything you do should be for the greater good, for the self-improvement of you, your finances, your body, your mind. Don't be weird. Don't be antisocial. Go have a good balance in life. But still, the 95% of time that you are on this earth, you need to be working towards your goals. And if you're unhappy right now, if you're unhappy in your situation, it's because you are not. Once you do, you will truly feel fulfillment because you know you're on the right path. I wish I could have every one of you who watch this just be automatically millionaires and meet up with me wherever in the world we are that week. I can't guarantee that for all of you, but what I can give you is the roadmap to get there. So if you're interested, make sure to go to the first link down below. It's completely free, 10 plus hours of course. Life calls twice a week. And if you truly want best, fastest way to success, and I'm not trying to sell you anything here, but I'm just saying it's an option. Like we do have dozens and dozens of students who are on the path to make tons and tons of money. So if you would be interested, we have like two options. One of them is the cheaper group option. That's still very, very good. Don't get me wrong. Like you're going to leave making a ton of money. The other option is the one-on-one -on -one, and obviously it has greater cost to it, but it is the fastest, best, most intimate way to reach your goals and you're accountable. Like if you tell me like, oh, Scott, I didn't work that hard this week. I didn't get done what you've asked of me. And I'm going to tell you straight fucking away that you're a bitch. Like I'm going to tell you straight to your face. I'm not going to hold anything back. Just DM me on Instagram. Take action today. Make sure you are making yourself proud and your family proud. Appreciate you watching. My name is Scott Gleason Camp. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.